Well, these days data prices are very very reasonable and many of us prefer sourcing and streaming multimedia content directly online. That's simply because it's more convenient and also because streaming apps like Netflix, Amazon Prime, YouTube, Hotstar etc are really really good. At the same time, it's kind of baffling that even in 2019, most phones or at least most affordable and mid-range phones cannot stream HD content from apps like Amazon Prime and Netflix. Yes, you heard that right. So let's talk about why this is so and how you can check if your phone supports HD streaming or not. So let's proceed. So let's first talk about what your phone requires for HD streaming or to stream HD videos on apps like Netflix and Amazon Prime. To stream HD content, the primary requirement is to have the most secure level of Google's Widevine DRM, the Widevine Level 1 or L1. Now the Google's Widevine L1 certificate is used to ensure secure transmission to your phone to avoid things like piracy and unauthorized downloads and to protect copyright. And this includes things like common encryption, licensing key exchange, dash, but we won't be going into those details. So the bottom line is that your phone needs to be DRM L1 certified to stream HD videos. But, and this is a big but, even if you have DRM L1 certificate on your phone, that does not guarantee HD streaming. Confused? Well, the DRM L1 is a necessary requirement, but it's not the only requirement. So all that was good in theory, but how will you check if your phone supports HD streaming or not? Well, the obvious first step is to check if your phone has DRM L1 certificate. And for that, you need to download DRM Info app from Play Store and there's a link in the description below. Now check for security level. If your phone has L3, it means you cannot stream HD videos on Netflix and Amazon Prime, no matter what. On the other hand, if your phone has L1 certificate, it means your phone is compatible but might not necessarily support HD streaming. For instance, almost all phones from ASUS launched in the last year have L1 certificate but they don't support HD streaming and many Samsung phones have had L1 certificate but they have started supporting HD streaming only now. So once you establish that your phone does have DRM L1 certificate, let's now proceed to the next step. So open the Netflix app on your phone and search for any title and you'll notice a HD or HDR label in the thumbnail. This confirms HD support. Another way of checking HD support is to go to settings and check for the download size. So if you have set the download to best quality and your download size is to the tune of around 1GB or 900MB for a 50 minutes episode, you're getting HD content. And if it's around 300 MB, you're streaming in SD. On Amazon Prime, you can check again from the download size of the highest quality content. Or if you have access to high speed internet, just play a title and you'll notice an HD label at the bottom. We must also add that if your phone has L1 certificate and yet does not support HD streaming, there's still hope. This can be fixed with an OTA update and most probably the issue is because your phone isn't there in the Netflix or Prime Videos database. Another very important point to note is that all modern chipsets are compatible and Widevine doesn't charge any licensing fee. So the only reason why manufacturers are ignoring this is oversight or because not enough users are particularly asking for this feature, at least not on affordable and mid range phones. Uh, so before we sign off, here's a list of some popular affordable and mid-range phones that do support HD streaming as of today. So this list only includes phones that we have come across and that we have tested. And if it's missing any particular phone, you might add it in the comment section below.